Hey, so this is Chris, and I'm about to just do a quick tour of my Bible world to show you what kind of thing I am talking about. Um, so this is where the person would enter into the world, and if we just look around, we can see that here I've created the start of the Bible Museum experience thing. Um, so this is the central hub. Um, from where there'd be lots of different passageways leading out to different um, different sections of the Bible so that you can go and explore it for yourself. And we're just going to explore a couple of them that I've made already um, uh, just to get a feel for what it's like. Um, so I'm going to fly for uh, ease of speed, um, uh, if I can. I'm going to head over, first of all, this is... Um, the Garden of Eden area, which I've done and put in lots of uh, lovely animals and plants and flowers, um, and it's a very beautiful landscape, lots of streams flowing through it, um, and just a really lovely place. Um, so that's the Garden of Eden, and then there's the Flaming Sword. Um, over in this direction will be where um, the early uh, parts of Genesis take place, so there'll be the um, stories of Noah and Abraham, um, Egypt will be somewhere over there as well, um, so that's how that will work, um, but right now I just want to show you Jerusalem, um, which I have been building. So for Jerusalem, I have been trying to create a scale replica of it, and um, it, the city itself is one quarter scale, um, so uh, if each block is a metre, um, then it's one quarter the size of what Jerusalem would actually be, would actually have been. Um, it's currently set at King David's time, and um, so at the moment there is no temple. Um, so you can see the walls here, um, but I've built the walls and the um, houses inside to more like full size so that it still feels like a decent sized city. And we have a zombie villager stuck outside the gate. Enemy at the gates. Okay. Just wave to the watchman on the walls. Is there a watchman on the walls? There is a watchman on the walls. Hi, watchman. Um, so, I'm just going to go in through the main gates and head through the town. And um, the, as you can see, I've tried to kind of build the houses in like a reasonable size, get them all close together. Uh, this is my little marketplace with the, uh, this is the armourer, so he's uh, got a chest full of armour in it. And uh, this is the leather worker's chest. Um, so, all, all like a functioning city. Um, and then um, up here at the top, we have King David's house at the, at the very height of the city. Um, and uh, so we're just going to go into King David's house, which is still mostly covered in grass at the moment, um, and see if I can find where I put the stairs. So if we head upstairs, you can see King David has a lovely double bed, um, and keep on going up. And uh, just to... Um, show you that uh, of course I am dressed as King David um, because I thought that would be most fun and I appear to have lots of loyal followers following me around. Um, so this is King David's rooftop area um, and uh, oh look there's a pool down there let's hope no one starts bathing in that on whose house that would be. Hopefully it's not Uriah's. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is the kind of thing that I was thinking. Um, and so you could tell stories in first or third person. Um, you can build um, all sorts of areas. Um, and if the, uh, the skins for each character are available, then uh, children will be able to play as their different characters. Um, so that's it. that's it for now. And I think we will... Um, leave Jerusalem and you can see here how I've got um, kind of plans laid out for um, future uh, parts of Jerusalem so this will be where Solomon's temple and palace are built in the future. Bye!